What's going on guys, Moxification here, so today uh, I'm just going to do a video on how to set up XP Online. So this is a video for the first time user, the first time if you ever, um, it, well if you've never been online before on your on your JTAG or GH, this is going to be the video for you. If you're really new to this, this is the video for you. So uh, what you're going to need is, you're going to need a USB, you're going to need a JTAG or RGH, you're going to need uh, the uh, uh, internet connection obviously. Um, so uh yeah i guess we'll get into it so uh yeah what you want to do is you want to go to the xp online website which is xponline.live so we'll go to that now xp online uh oh, there you go dot live there you go and that will redirect you and it will take you to i think it takes you to xp online dot live yeah slash xbo there you go uh so what you want to do is you want to download the client so to do that you just click right there uh, it, the website might be different in the future but right now that's where it is uh, you want to make sure you download the client so here it is so xponline.zip so you want to open that up uh, you'll need WinRAR to open that up but everyone has WinRAR uh, WinRAR sorry uh, but yeah so here we go so what you want to do is you want to go into the folder uh, you want to go into the next folder which is plugins and then so you'll see there's a lot of files here so all of these files all you want to do is you want to stick these on a USB now you can do it through neighborhood it's really easy to do it through neighborhood it's a lot quicker to do it through neighborhood but we'll do it with a USB for the, uh, for the purpose of the video so uh, what you want to do is you want to stick your USB into the computer so I'm going to do that now there you go uh, so here it is. So what you want to do is you want to stick all of these files. So JRPC INI, JRPC 2.xex, uh, launch.ini, rpc.xex, xbdm.xex, and xponline.xex. You want to stick those uh, in on your USB. So there you go. Uh, so now I can exit WinRAR, and now I can exit this. Uh, so now what you want to do is you want to unplug the USB and stick that into your JTAG or RGH. So we're going to go over to the Xbox now. Okay, so now we're on the Xbox. All you want to do is open up the XCX menu, which is, uh, for me, it's under My Games, all the way on the right-hand side. Uh, if you don't have XCX menu installed, I'll link the uh, video in the description. I've done I've done a few videos on that. It's it's easy stuff. You, you'll be good to go if you don't have XCX menu in installed already. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So what you want to do is you want to go to USB. So uh, if, your, if your USB stick doesn't come up straight away, just unplug it and stick it back in and wait for it to come up and everything will be good. Uh, you want to copy these six files across. Not not the top one. Top top one has nothing to do with this. Uh, it's literally jrpc.ini all the way down to X online.xex you want to copy all of these six files so we're going to do that now it only takes a few seconds so we'll, we'll do that it's just a little bit a little bit long to do but we'll we'll do it anyway we'll do it on uh, on video there you go so uh, jlpc2 there you go launch.ini got three left to do there you go rpc there you go, XBDM. It can get a bit confusing because you might think you've already copied one but haven't, and then you skip one, and you know, it, it can get a little bit confusing. You just want to make sure that you've got all six across, and so we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have all of them are there. So now, at this point, you're pretty much done. There's only a few more steps left. What you want to do is you want to turn your Xbox off and turn it back on. When it comes back on, it will then. Uh, restart itself again i think it does it a couple of times it restarts itself maybe two times and then once it comes back on i'll i'll, I'll see you when it comes back on so uh, yeah i'll see you then okay so now the xbox is coming back on uh, what you're going to get is you're going to get a little pop-up saying you need to update so what you're updating is you're not updating your xbox you're updating the xp online plugin so uh that will come up in a second you'll see a little x notify come up update found there you go uh, downloading please wait and then restart me now so what you want to do is you want to press restart me now and then it will restart another couple of times and then you'll be good so yeah okay so once the xbox has come back on what you want to do is you want to buy a token from the XP Online website. It's really easy, really simple. They've got uh, you can buy it from people on the Discord. Uh, they've got Facebook. You know they accept a lot of payment methods. You know Bitcoin, um, Amazon. You know PayPal, like all of that. Uh, you just got to find the right person, really. You know that in the Discord there'll be different people you can buy from. You just want to make sure they're trusted people. They'll have like a rank. They'll have like a rank within the Discord if they're trusted. R rank being make make sure they're like you know a trusted rank. You know not like. Um, uh, if they don't have a rank, they're probably not going to be like 100% legit. You know, you want to go to someone who's actually 
a part of XP Online, you know, uh, and, and you'll be able to work that out pretty, pretty easily. So once you've got your token, what you want to do is you want to press the guide button and then go all the way over to the right hand side. Uh, then you'll see XP Online menu. And then once this is open, you want to click claim token. And then it's going to bring up another little menu thing. And here you can type in the uh, the token. Uh, the token goes to uh, if you're doing it uh, on Discord, you'll you'll get the token like handed to you. Whereas like if you're doing it like using like an auto buy method, uh, I'm sure to have that in the future. It will go to your email most likely. Uh, but uh, yeah, so here we go. So this this code definitely won't work for you. Uh, it's not worth you wasting your time. Um, it obviously, once you use a token, uh, it's it, that's it. It's gone forever, you know. Uh, so here we go. Uh, seven a one seven three. Here we go. And then it will come up with another thing, and then token is valid for 14 days, click redeem, and then it's done. That's it. And so now you're done, and as you can see, uh, right there you've got uh, underneath where it says like sign in, you know, you see where it says select back, sign in, export home. You've got time remaining, 13 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes, 45 seconds, and then connected to XP Online, and you're done. Now, in the, in the case that your KV would be banned, you just have to buy a new KV and stick that in the root of your hard drive. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll, I've got many videos on that as well. I'll, I'll link that in the description as well. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.